Hey everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to run tests and CI using GitHub Workflow and GitHub Actions for a Node.js project. But the steps here should be similar depending on whatever technology you're using. So first of all, I have this really simple project set up. The only dependency I have here is just Jest, which is our test runner for this Node.js project. And we just have one test here, just a simple test, which verifies that one plus one equals two. So first of all, locally, I can do npm test, and this will run our test, and we can see it passes. But what if we want to also run all of our tests in GitHub anytime there's a new pull request or anytime a change is made to the main branch? So let's head over to GitHub now and see how we can do that. So this is our project, this is a repository. I've just pushed up everything that I had here locally, the exact same, and I'm just gonna click on actions here. So there's a few different ways to generate the workflow file, but this is what I found is the easiest because this will basically run, run through it with us and it'll be really easy. So we're gonna click on this Node.js, build and test a Node.js project with NPM. So I'm gonna click set up this workflow. And here we can see that it basically wants us to create this node.js.yaml file in this directory. And this is important. So it's inside .github, forward slash workflows, and then we have this file. The name of this file doesn't really matter. We could call this anything we want. And this is basically a GitHub workflow file. Let's walk through this step by step and see what it's doing. So first of all, we have this name. Again, the name isn't so important. It doesn't really change much. Then we have this on. This on section is gonna define what will trigger this workflow running. So here we can see this workflow is gonna be triggered on push events to the main branch and also on pull requests to the main branch. Next, we have the job section. Inside jobs, we're defining a list of jobs that we want to run whenever it's triggered here. So the first job is build. Again, the name of this doesn't really matter, but this is just um, a pretty reasonable name for what we're going to do here. Then we're gonna define the platform that we want this job to run on. So we're just gonna say Ubuntu latest, which is a Linux machine. We could also run this on a Windows machine or something else, but I think this is a pretty good place to start. Then we've got our strategy. Here we can define the different versions of Node that we want to use to run our tests. So here you can see we're gonna use Node 12, 14, and 16. You could just run it on 16 if that's all you want to support, but I think it's pretty good to cover these versions. So next we have the steps. And this is the different steps that we're going to use inside this workflow. And each of these steps is going to be a GitHub action. So we could add more actions here if we'd like, but let's just go through these for now. So first of all, if this is actions checkout v2, we can over here in the marketplace, we can look for checkout and see what this actually does. So it actually checks out a Git repository at a particular version. And we can see that here. So that's what it does. It's gonna check out our project the next one we've got here is setup node. And as you'd imagine, all that this action does is kind of sets up your Node.js environment and adds it to the path and so on. So this is fairly simple so far. And you can see here, it's going to do this with every single node version that we defined. So this is kind of like injecting a variable here. So here we're saying for node version matrix.node version, this is coming from here inside the strategy, matrix.node version. So here we're gonna inject that list of node versions. And then we have this cache for NPM. It's not too important, that part. So then we just have three commands we want to run. We're gonna run NPM CI, which is going to install all of our dependencies based on our package lock file. We also have NPM run build if present. So if the build command is present, we're gonna run that. We actually don't have any build command here. So we could actually take that out if we want because right now we don't need the, the build command. And then finally, we've got npm test, which is gonna run our test script defined here. So it's gonna run the same thing that I ran locally, npm test. So now let's go back. And as I said, all this is doing is actually creating a file in this directory. So we could actually push this change from local as long as we match this same path. But for ease of use, we can just do that here. So let's directly commit these changes to the main branch. I commit this file, we can see here now, 
when we go back on main we've got github workflows and we've got our workflow there so now we can actually go into actions and we can see it's actually queued now because there was a change to the main branch we're going to run that there so i can click here and i can see actually exactly what's happened we see we have our three different jobs for our three different node versions i can click on one of these and see how it's going so these are each of our steps we had the setup job we had the checkout we can see everything that happened here we have use node.js 16 npm run ci and finally npm run test and we can see actually here the logs of our test so that's that's really nice so now let's do a quick test just to show you something else here let's copy this test and let's say we write a test which actually fails so we say one plus one equals three we do this make this change and let's check out to a different branch let's just say it's called failing test so now let's just push these changes so we've pushed these changes to a branch called failing test we can go back here now and so right now because we didn't actually create a pull request yet there is nothing running right now but if I compare and create this pull request we're going to see now from inside the pull request in a second it's going to show that our different jobs are running here so we have three different things happening here for the three different node versions that we defined and we can click on one of these and actually see it in progress and how it's working so let's wait for a minute and see our test has actually failed so we can see here at npm run test it failed if we go back to the pull request we also get this indication that it failed so that's great we have all of this information here and that's nice but our test is failing so let's change this to one plus two equals three one plus two equals three let's just say we fix the test as soon as we push this it's going to trigger this again because if you remember we had that trigger which is um, against main anytime there's a change to a pull request there we can see we have this pull request on branches main so this is going to trigger our CI again but we actually still get the history of the failure before which is nice we can see that here but we can see that it's now running again so let's see how this time how it goes this time so it looks like now it's passed for two builds already and if we go back here we can see we get that tick so that's really nice let's merge the pull request and i really just like how easy this is so you have all of your code in github you have your actions your ci everything's together here in one central place it's really nice so we can see now because we've merged we also had on push to main so we've basically now we've pushed directly to main so this will also trigger a build to happen and we can see in our actions that that's happening so this has been how to set up github action and github workflow to run your tests for a node.js project as i said the steps are going to be pretty similar uh, it's definitely worth taking a look across the different workflows the templates they have they have a bunch of different things here for for setting up projects and for initial projects so that's great you can also go directly to the github actions marketplace and you'll be able to search here for a bunch of different actions and workflows and and basically you'll be able to add things here so we could actually add another step here we could add um different things and there's there's endless possibilities really so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time